Hello everyone and welcome to Battle of the Beasts All Generation episode number 93. I'm Adam and today we've got two more beasts fighting out for another spot in round 3. We are rapidly approaching the end of round 3. Not really, we're nearly at the halfway point now. Uh, we got After this fight we've got 23 more fights to do, I think. Um, but we are getting there now. Uh, after that break I've had, I'm feeling more energised, ready to do it. Bring it on. So, uh, let's introduce the piece. Representing series 27, the ghosts of Caradin. The killer of Kragos and Kildor in round one, it is Devora the Death Fish. And representing the growing group of specials, it is the killer of Crotax the Tusk Destroyer in round one. We have Scalamanx the Fiery Fury. So we're going to do the stats now. Starting with Devora. Unfortunately, we do not have a bio for her, but luckily the editing for her round one battle has been done. So we actually have a bio written by myself, performed by my good friend Lucas with his impus voice. Uh, so we're going to get into that. And yeah, let's do that. Beneath the frozen lake in the northern mountains lies the remains of Devora. Brought back to life by Caradin, Devora has a terrifying batch of abilities and a freaky design that make her one reason why you don't want to enter the aquatic waters anytime soon. Now, on to her stats. We're going to leave it there. So... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm actually, that's one of the bios I'm actually really proud of as well. Uh, so abilities are fish, fi uh, fish physiology. So same ability as Kreta, Larnak, and Solix, but with fish. Uh, deformation and reformation, fish. <laughs> uh, underwater breathing, fish. Ice manipulation can freeze water at will and unfreeze it. Also, submerge her prey within the ice. Uh, she could, yeah. Uh, natural weaponry. Uh, nice to know I can't do this, right? And natural weaponry. Weaknesses I did not get onto the stat department. So, well done, Adam. Someone's getting fired. Uh, so let's go on to Scalamanx. Many years after Tom's mother Freya conquered the reptilian lava monster, Tom was drawn into a battle with it when his friend Petra accidentally restored it to life. And abilities are uh, fire manipulation, okay, enhanced strength, enhanced durability, natural armor, natural weaponry, and regeneration. Regeneration. Uh, I'm going to allow it, but that's only with his tail, so, and his uh, tendrils around his neck. But other than that, nah. Okay, and weaknesses are water weakness, cold weakness, and holes in scales. One of Devor's weaknesses is an inability to breathe out of water, so, yeah. <laughs> so, I think, uh... The best battle I can, the best battle arena I can do is the clock arena from the Hunger Games Catching Fire. Again. <laughs> uh, so, Devora versus Scalamanx. Let's get into this. As the chamber doors open, Scalamanx bursts through the his land exit and makes his way to the center of the arena, roaring into it, ready to show off his skills that he has acquired. And Devora makes her way out of the sea chamber and freezes the water instantly. Scalamanx sees this and uh, instantly uses his fire whips to lash at the fire to melt it back into water and to try and melt it again into um, yeah, steam. But it doesn't seem to be working. It needs more concentration. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so uh, with that, nothing much else is happening at the moment. And Devora bursts out of the ice and instantly goes to attack Scalamanx. Uh, 
Scalamanx moves out of the way as uh, he sees that Devor is about to crash into the ice that she created, in which she instantly melts it by c- command and dives back into the water, causing a splash, which Scalamanx uh, um, you, uh, dodges from the water droplets. Uh, Scal- Devorah then comes back up, greets Scalamanx, notices that Scalamanx is mostly fire, and realises, hmm. So it gives another splash, splash her tail towards Scalamanx. Scalamanx gets out of the way from the fire, and one, and a couple droplets of water lands on his tail, which starts steaming up. Devorah then gets the idea. So, what Devorah does is that she, uh, using her full body strength, she s- swims around the, well, underwater, around the entire clock arena, going as fast as she can. And then when she reaches the top speed she can go, she charges upwards towards a spoke in the um, land, in on the on the rocks above water. She shatters it almost instantly and keeps going at that trajectory, going round each and every spoke, isolating Scalamanx on the centre island. And then, as Scalamanx uh, looks one looks around wondering what he can do, he uh, sees Devorah dive back underwater, sees the silhouette of Devorah just going very, very fast to um, uh, then builds up enough speed and starts chipping away at the uh, supporting land underneath the centre island. Scalamanx can feel it shaking, to which Scalamanx doesn't even know what he can do. Um, the ground is starting to shake and starting to submerge as the water is gradually making its way up towards Scalamanx. Scalamanx uh, is, giving, is just roaring because there's nothing else he can do. Devorah stops with chipping away at the land and sees it gen- gradually submerging. He, she pokes her head out of the water to see Scalamanx struggling to stay away from the water. In which Devorah then splashes water into Scalamanx's direction with her tail. Scalamanx sees this and, and not really knowing what to do, just takes it, misjudging how powerful that water is that pushes Scalamanx backwards where his uh, feet goes into the water and his tail he roars in pain but at that right at that precise moment when he's trying to get back out of the water Devorah bites onto Scalamanx's tail and starts pulling backwards pulling Scalamanx into the water Scalamanx starts pulling away to try and uh, get get to, to stay on the land but also keep Devorah out of the water. As Devorah is pulling with all her might, Scalamanx is also pulling with all his might. Devorah then decides to let go, and Scalamanx goes flying forward, almost going head first into the water. Devorah follows suit by jumping out of the water and headbutting Scalamanx, pushing them both into the water. As Scalamanx is struggling to get, is uh, howling in pain from the water, just causing steam to erupt everywhere. Uh, Scalamanx is scrap, just flailing about, trying to attack Devorah at any point he can. But Devorah deforms into multiple piranhas and starts gradually swimming around in the giant school, concealing Scalamanx in a vortex of piranhas, and the piranhas are gradually just nipping and biting at Scalamanx. Scalamanx is roaring in pain, but the more he's roaring in pain, the more air he's losing, and he's realizes he can't breathe. He can't swim. He's he realizes he's drowning, and Devora is doing nothing about this. But Devora decides to play a little game. She reforms into her main form and starts pushing Scalamanx out of the water. Scalamanx realizes this, but doesn't even bother to wonder why she's doing this as soon as he's about to reach the top of the water to poke out of the water for that freedom of air he he hits the top of the water and his expression turns to immediate horror as he realizes that Devorah 
has frozen the top of the water. Scalamanx realised that Devorah wasn't helping her, him. He realised that Devorah decided to tease him and make him realise that he is trapped in there. In that moment of shock, Scalamanx gets uh, a nasty bite from Devorah on his tail. And he, Devorah rips Scalamanx's tail clean off. And after building more speed um, around the water, as Scalamanx's body gently starts uh, sinking, he, uh, using her bone-sharp fin, she sli- swims right past Scalamanx, slicing Scalamanx's neck open. And in that moment, Scalamanx's head just leans back and his limbs go lifeless it stops flailing around still having that shocked expression scalamanx starts doing nothing just gradually sinking floating in the water of his own grave in the water of his own grave that's why i said i think i lost my voice towards the end there but with that Devorah has won, Scalamanx has lost. If you think Scalamanx should have won, please don't comment below why you think that. However, I do not speak wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay, obviously my word is final, so Devorah is staying through. But, I mean, there's no way Scalamanx is winning that. Because by the time I set the battlefield, I realised that the fire manipulation, he can control the fire that he sets fire to. But you can't set fire to a rocket. You can't set fire to water. I'm telling you that. So with that, Scalamanx was essentially screwed at the get-go. Um, and Devora, being the cunning beast she is, decides to play with Scalamanx, let's say. Make him realise he has that glimmer of hope to survive. And then see Scalamanx's hopes get destroyed in one single realisation. But with that... Uh, Devora has won in a very twisted way. <laughs> but with that, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press this notification bell down below, and I'll see you next time.